Woo! Excuse my uh, appearance here. It's hot. I got my little little fan going. Oh gosh, dang! String it out of the way. I'm a little fan going. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, um, to pick back up on this, uh, Alan's sake sake one time. <laughs> Um, finishing up the plumbing from this past weekend that we didn't get done. Um, so what I'm doing right now, um, so I finished this up yesterday. I went through and glued that part. The reason I have these rags in here is because I just did, uh, got a rag in each one. And the reason being is because I just came through here. I had to cut a section out and I did try to clean that up as much as possible the grinder. But I mean, there, there's still got a, we still got a black piece, this guy right here. That's going to go over that. So I've got to, I mean, this can be a little rough. I mean, in my opinion, um, like I guess I'm going to put that back on, but I do have to cut that too, just so these, this plumbing, because there's going to be a three pipes. Hold on, I mean, I can give you a better visual if I can find the one. Here it is. Excuse the mess. We got so much going on between his, getting this done, and just miscellaneous things I haven't put away yet because I'm a freaking slob. But yeah, something like that. I mean, so there's going to be three of them, like I said, that go there. And with the way they sit right there, they weren't going to fit. Well, I mean, they could have, but it was going to get in the way of the bars actually turning. So that's why I went ahead and trimmed some pieces, or that piece out. So I got that trimmed out. I'm about to put it back in, see if there's enough room, and we'll go from there. All right, as you can see, got those suckers in. Now, it's not permanent, obviously. You gotta paint them. Paint them and zip tie them to where they actually stick together and look all good. I'm waiting on Alan to call me back to see if he even wants these here. Um, yeah, this one is a little bit taller. I figured it just, in my opinion, it looks better. But I'm waiting on Alan because what we might do, get a rough idea of what's going on. What I might do is I might actually drop them down a few inches. I mean, because those suckers are up there, but it's going to be his call depending on how much he wants to actually send it. Like I said, I got to paint this. We're talking about maybe a uh, paint job. I'm so sorry that thing keeps getting in the way. We're talking about a possible paint job on the four-wheeler itself. Uh, so if we do that, Alan, insert a freaking game. <laughs> The exclamation point what yeah might uh might do that <laughs> sorry i'm freaking i'm bored and by myself so i'm out here working on his stuff but no disregard that <laughs> anyway um this is this mock obviously the the rack still got to go on but this is more or less going to be kind of a end result yeah, all the rest of that stuff, I mean, I'm trying to paint as little as possible, especially with Alan talking about painting the whole thing. Uh, but, what he's talking about and the color choice, I think this thing is going to be sick. Especially uh, if any lights or if any stereo stuff gets put on here. Oh yeah. The next day. Um, excuse me. So yeah. Boy. Now there are runs in certain places, but the fact that you can see me on four-wheeler plastics that we rattle can, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. They're not perfect though, like I said, if you get up close, there are some runs in there. Um, that was done on the base. Uh, there are some some little splatter spots here from painting something else, because that didn't take into uh, consideration the wind. <laughs> uh, by no means am I a painter at all, but this is uh, three coats of a, uh, I don't remember the name of that gray. I think it's just primer, flat gray, uh, Rust-Oleum, and that we threw on there. Like I said, three coats of that, uh, two coats of high gloss, again, rattle can, and then let me show you something like this guy here. I know, let me see if I can, let me flip the guys around. This guy, I don't know if y'all can see the way that sparkles. Alan doesn't even know yet. I haven't told him. But I took that sparkly, it's a metallic finish by the way. Metal metallic. 
and like I said, he has no clue. I haven't even told him yet, but I did his radiator relocate bracket and both of his his um, racks for his four wheeler. Check this that guy out in the sun, man. Like I didn't do it as a joke. I've used this previously on some of my stuff, but I mean, I don't know. My opinion, I think that looks damn good. Like this <laughs> turned out better than the racks just because the racks are all beat up. But man, shout out High Lifter by the way. But yeah, that, I mean, I could just be feeling myself because I did it. I don't know. But I think it turned out damn good. I think that that uh, metallic, because it has some flakes in there, is going to pop. Especially uh, when it's not covered in mud at night, if that's even going to be possible. Um, but And you can't really see these guys, but you see a little bit of that flake in there. But yeah. So both the racks over here drying. Those have the last coat, literally waiting on these to dry. But all the plastics, these guys are done. There's the back. I don't know if you guys saw that when I was over here. But there's the front, what I was showing you all earlier on that chair. Here's the back. This isn't a fire pit. This is now a body parts um, stand. <laughs> and then there's a little piece that goes up over the, by the, over the handlebars, I guess you'd say. But yeah, so all that's painted. Now I just gotta get this sucker put together. So, I don't know when that's gonna happen because I still gotta get an axle yanked off the rhino. This poor guy here, man. All these poor guys. I gotta still get to him. That's a buddy of mine's. This guy hasn't been out in a little bit. But yeah, this is a whole lot of stuff here that needs to get be worked on, but. Man, that poor guy there. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Need his axles. Once I get those axles on, man, we still haven't got around to that because axles ain't cheap, man. Axles ain't cheap. We're getting around to that. Once we get all the axles, then I'll be able to drive it off and we can finally show you the finished product on that uh, as far as the height and stuff goes. But anyway, as far as Alan's four goes, just waiting on hardware at this point I guess and uh, have time to put it together so I'll pick back up when I pick back up hopefully uh, here pretty soon next day or two but uh, yeah see you when I see you